Hello everybody. This is January 28th, 1975, Travco um, 270 build update number, I can't remember, <laughs> I'll put it in the title. So I have a really neat update for you today because I have done so much work in this Travco over the last couple of weeks. Um, starting off, the AC unit did not work. So I had to replace this. This is a brand new Dometic Penguin and it's a 15,000 BTU unit and really, really high end. It's gonna last a really long time and I've done an excellent job of sealing everything up on the roof so there's not gonna be any drips coming down through there. Um, moving on down here, I refurbished all of the heat registers. So um, those look nice and they have all new stainless hardware around them. Um, I did this trim work around where the registers are just to give it you know, a little higher end feel inside here. Going over here. I don't know if you can see that. That's probably backwards because of the way I have the camera set up. That says 12.8 that says volts. The reason we're sitting above 12 volts is because I just got the solar system hooked up. And that is charging, you know, um, the batteries a little bit more than their normal voltage because it's keeping them topped off. So I have four 100 watt uh, solar panels up on the roof installed now. And though, although it's a cloudy day, um, they're still getting electricity and they're still keeping the batteries topped up. So I'm really happy with the way that turned out. Going back here, Underneath this bed, you pull it up, you can see this door back here. It's kind of dark, but anyway, I'll pull it open. Underneath there, oh, I wish I could show you. Underneath there, you have a charger converter that um, when you're plugged into shore power, it charges the batteries or when the generator's on. And you have a solar controller so that it doesn't overcharge the batteries with solar energy coming in. And you have a power inverter, which takes the, 100, the 12 volt DC electricity you have in batteries and converts it to 120 volt AC um, electricity that you would use on your normal plugs, like these house plugs like this up on the ceiling. So that you can use batteries to operate your drill, which is nice if you're going to be living in this RV long term. Now, um, I also have the main fuse blocks, not fuse blocks, but power blocks down, down there for all the positive wires and all the negative wires. Um, all the heavy, heavy gauge wiring that I use for the solar and the charge controller and all of the electronics down under there. They use really heavy gauge wires and you have to have heavy, heavy gauge um, blocks to hook all of those wires into and so it doesn't get hot. So I've installed really high-end stuff underneath there so it's going to be nice and safe and it'll last a long long time and all of it's isolated from each other and it's there's not going to be any shorts. Okay so moving on back here what else have I done? I remodeled this vanity area in the bathroom. So um, I refinished the mirror, I refinished all the handles, I refinished the toothbrush, toothbrush holder, I refinished the soap dish holder, I refinished um, the covers of the outlets. Well, actually, this one's new, this one's refinished because that was wider than normal. And I uh, repainted it white because it was like this, this yellow, which um, didn't really go with the rest of the motif. So that's all completely fixed up and done. Another thing that I've done lately is along with the new AC on top, I also put a brand new vent in there because the old one had been cracked and was old. Now down here, I installed that brand new Dometic toilet. I've used Dometic for most of the RV parts because Dometic's a really high-end brand and I want this thing to just last and last and last. So um, high-end stuff only. And if you look behind the toilet, you'll see a little door. I don't know how well you can see back in there. The reason I installed that door was because when you have an RV, 
you're driving down the road, you go over bumps and it shakes and road surfaces are not always the best, but shaking eventually can lead to leaks in water systems and you do not want leaks in your water system. But if you can't access the leak because you have toilet connections back there, you have the high pressure water in back there, if you can't access that stuff without tearing out a wall, then you're just setting yourself up for a bad situation. So what I did is I cut a hole in the wall and made a perfect um, panel to go back in that hole and then took um, big riveted screws that you can um, just put back in and take the panel out so that you can access all the plumbing. And that's true for the entire motorhome except for that panel. Um, but now that that panel is in there, all of the plumbing is totally accessible. Huge upgrade for longevity and safety. Another thing that I finished was all of the plumbing had to be redone for the septic tank and the tank had to be rebuilt. So um, I used a fiberglass process to rebuild the black water. It's a black and gray combo tank, um, but I've rebuilt all of the tank out of fiberglass. Um, I've left the tank in place, but I've coated it with fiberglass, so it's going to be much, much stronger than it ever was before, and it'll stop cracking because that fiberglass is going to last, you know, 100 years. Really strong stuff. So that's good to go, and let's see... I think the thing I'm most happy with on this coach is there's a lot of high-tech stuff in here. Like the fuel injection system didn't even exist in the 70s. Um, all of the engine is controlled now by computers and sensors rather than just like manual springs and you know whatever is in a in the original carburetor setup. So all of the systems are monitored now. Um, I have a fully electronic computer operated fridge installed. But you can't tell. You know, it still keeps the classic appeal. I mean, look around this thing. Nice, clean, classic. The exterior is all round and 70s. It's really cool. Um, but with all the tech that's in here, the fully automatic furnace, the fridge, the on-demand hot water system, um, the water filtration system, the computer-controlled AC unit, everything that I've put into it, Nothing is intrusive and nothing is taking away from the total um, feel of the vehicle. So I'm really, really happy with that. The only little inkling you have that there's some technology built into this, just when you come in and look around, is this little charge. Well, this is USB ports for charging like your cell phones and that kind of thing. And then it has a voltage meter right there so you can keep track of if there's a drain on your battery power, you'll see that go down, down, down. But other than that, everything else looks clean and classy and original, which is hard to do when you have that much technology packed into a old coach like this, hiding it, I think is important. So I've tried really hard to do that and it seems to, seems to have worked out really well. Let me see if there's anything else. Um, I just, let's see. I just think that from here on out, um, most of the work is going to be on the exterior because the interior, pretty well done. Everything is working. It's all up or up operational. I had to tear out a bunch of the old wiring just because it didn't work anymore. There was like cracks and shorts and things were corroded. And I have to redo a bunch of the wiring, like the, the water pump on the freshwater tank it was completely wired wrong and there's no possible way it ever could have worked. So somebody got in here at some point and thought they knew what they were doing, but didn't. So anyway, I've had to do um, lots of, you know, repair work like that. But now that that's all winding down, I don't get to sit in this nice warm RV anymore um, with a heater on and work. Now I have to sand the outside and um, get it painted and prepped and, oh, that's going to be a nasty job. But um, it's what we do. So let's see if there's anything else I can think of that we've done since the last update. Nope, I think we're pretty much there. All right, well, next on the list, make the outside as cool as the inside.